Yo, alright lads, and welcome back to another Rare Players Squad. Last time, we did the Spanish edition, so if you haven't seen that, make sure you go and check it out. There's a link to that down in the description or on my channel, you can go and find it, where we picked up two of the rarest Spanish players in the game that are no longer in packs for you to pick up. This time, we are going to be doing two of the rarest Brazilian players. So, just before we get into it, if you want to go and get yourself some coins, one of these guys is an informed, so if you want to try him out, you'll need to buy yourself some coins, probably, and there's a link to the FIFA shop down in the description. Use the code AJ3, and you will get yourself 10% off. But, let's crack on and put in the first player. And just like the Spanish one, the first one is going to be the goalkeeper. And it's actually the old Spurs goalkeeper, Aurelio Gomez, I think is how you say his name. And he looks like a pretty decent keeper, to be honest. You can see that there is maybe one or two of them on the market. It's not really going for too much, as he is only a non-rare gold goalkeeper. So there's plenty of other goalkeepers just as good, if if not better. Even Julio Cesar, same nationality, same league, is probably better than him. So not the most expensive, but he is out of packs all the same. He actually transferred to the Bundesliga, to Hoffenheim, in the January transfer window. So that is why he is gone, and that is why he is an extremely rare card that you will struggle to pick up, even though when he does come on the market, he is not too expensive at all. However, this guy at right wing, there is a couple of them up on the market in each position. You'll see one or two of them at right wing, one or two of them at right forward, and one or two of them at right mid. So he's not the rarest right wing that you could pick up from Brazil. We have, of course, got the Porto Hulk. But I have showed you him a lot before, so I wanted to show you this guy instead because he is an extremely rare and sort of a bit of an anomaly within the price and markets because this is his first in form and it is from the very first week of FIFA when you could only get on the web app, which is why all the team of the week one players are extremely rare and there's not many of them floating about because not many of them pick them up in packs. But he is actually 415k is what I paid for him, whereas you can pick up his second in form for about 150,000 coins. So it's really strange because his second in form is actually a left wing. So when it came out, it didn't force the price of this one down for simply being better and a lot of them. So it's a bit of an odd one really. There's his first in form is almost, almost it's double the price, almost three times the price of his first in form. So a bit of a strange one. He is one of the only decent right wings. Obviously you can pick up Hulk, but Lucas at right wing is a really decent player to be able to have. At left wing, of course, he is as well because he's a cam usually. So he's got two position changes and it just so happens that this one is extremely expensive. And I wanted to show it to you guys and just show you how a little bit weird it was. If you know any players where the first inform is, again, more expensive than the second inform, drop them down in the comments as they are really interesting. Just like the guy from the rarest squad ever who's got more informs on the market than he has normal cards. That one baffled me as well. Any little anomalies like that, drop them down in the comment section and I will, will check them out. But now I am going to go and fill in the rest of the players and I will come back to you lads with the squad. So lads, there is the team. You can see we have got Rafael at right back. It is essentially just a sweaty Brazilian team. Dede, David Luiz, Coutinho, Ramirez, Oscar, Lucas of course. We've got Pato. We've managed to chuck in the Santos left wing Neymar. And we have got Baines rocking at left back from the BPL as he is a nice, cheap and affordable left back to throw in there. And we like to build our sweaty little teams around these players. So that is the squad. I have played a game or two with it and it's a pretty decent team, I'm not going to lie. I do like the 4-3-3 formation and Lucas and Neymar are two quality players. Gomez isn't the best and you can probably pick up another Brazilian goalkeeper who is considerably better than him. But he is nice and rare and it's good to have him in your squad. So that is where I'm going to leave the video, lads. I hope you have enjoyed it. I would recommend going and trying these guys out. And if you've got 415k you want to waste on a first in form that's worse than the second in form, then you could go and pick up Lucas and play him at right wing. But that is where I am going to leave it. I hope you have enjoyed this video, lads. I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button, share it around, all stuff like that. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Thanks for watching, lads, and I will see you next time.